guys, it's Jasmine here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's video is going to be a challenge video and today's challenge is I'm going to be picking all of my makeup blindfolded and see and put that on my face and see what I create and uh, it's going to be crazy. I really don't know what I'm going to pick out. I, I could be picking out all these crazy weird eyeshadows and some weird uh, foundations because I have some foundations that are not my shade. And I really, I hope I do not get that. So, if you guys want to see this challenge, then keep on watching. So, I have my blindfold. I'm going to put it on. It's really a hair wrap, but I'm going to use it as a blindfold today. Oh, yeah. I cannot see anything. First, primer. I'm going to look for primer. I know my primers are over here. Okay. Ooh, this one seems like my pore, Benefit pore, Poreless Primer, so hopefully that's it. I know this is my Milani one, but I don't know if, if this is the right shade. What is this? What is this? I'm gonna get this one. Ooh, okay. Bronzer. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I picked out. First, I picked out the Pore Professional Primer by Benefit. I knew I picked this one. This is the only um, primer that I have in this tube, so I was happy about that. Next, I picked out the Matte and Poreless Foundation. Love this stuff. And then the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And then for, oh shoot. And then for bronzer, I picked the only bronzer I have, the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. And then I, I actually surprisingly got my favorites. I actually thought I accidentally picked a blush because I do have a blush that looks exactly like this and I thought I picked that but I'm happy I got the highlighter and then I got my Milani um, a blush in Blessima Bronze and then for powder on my face I got this the flower um, powder and I haven't used this in forever so I'm really happy and excited that I got this again I only I got my powder my um, transition powder the only one that I have and then I got my favorite, the Modern Renaissance Palette. I haven't used this in a, in a tutorial lately, so I'm excited to use that. And the only thing that I was kind of mad about is I got these lashes for my eyelashes. I thought they were a different lash, but they are these. They are individual lashes. And then for lips, I got this Sephora Matte Lipstick. I thought I got some crazy lipstick, but I got this one, and I like this one, so I'm happy about that. Oh, so I forgot to show you guys that I also picked up this really hard sponge, and then this um, eyeshadow pigment type thing is from Ulta, and it's purple. So we're going to have to work with these two things through this okay, look. So start out, I'm going to be... Uh, um, putting my poreless primer on and yes I know don't look at this blemish on my face it's really bad I know I know I need to stop picking at my face it's an addiction I swear picking at your face is an addiction I actually really like this foundation so I was not that mad when I got this one Ooh, this color is going to be really red on me oh no Oh no, oh no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Just don't look at my hair, it'll be fine. Oh my gosh. This is really red on me. I do not remember this being this red on me. Now for concealer, the Maybelline one. I love this one, but it is a little bit dark right now for me. I like to go really light with my concealers and this is a little bit dark. Now I have to use this terrible sponge. Oh, it's as hard as a rock. Oh my gosh. And I feel like it's drinking up so much of the product. Like, what? Now I'm going to take my powder. Okay, now for um, face powder, my flower one. If you guys are OG subscribers, you will know that I used to love this powder for my for my makeup. For 
I used to use this in every single tutorial. This powder right here, it's actually a bronzer, but I use it as a face powder. And after bronzer, my Fit Me Maybelline bronzer, my pressed powder, I love this. I was actually just wearing it um, before I filmed this video. Okay, now for blush, I'm using my Milani Big Blush. And I actually am not really liking blush lately because I have this big pimple on my face, so I don't want to, like, luminize this pimple. But I picked it out, so I have to wear it. Now for highlighter, the Milani highlighter. I feel like I got really lucky with my base because I have some crazy stuff in my closet or in my makeup. And, oh shoot, and I could have gotten like really, the like not my right shade and foundation, I could have gotten a highlighter that does not look cute on me, and I didn't, so I'm happy about that. And yeah, excuse my hair, I did not notice that, and oh, let me take that out. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. I have this um, pigment stick with me, pigment crayon, and it's purple. So I'm gonna start out with that, and I'm just gonna put it on my eyes. Ooh, this looks really pretty. And I'm gonna do like a smoky eye with this. And if you guys didn't notice, uh, my room is purple, and my favorite color is purple. And so I'm not mad that I got this color purple, but I just don't really wear purple on my eyes a lot, so. That's the only thing that's going to be interesting with this look. And I'm going to blend that, the edges out with the color, with the color Cypress Umber from Modern Renaissance Palette. Oh dear. Oh dear. This does not look good. This does not look good. This pigment stick is really oily, so the color isn't staying in place. It's really making me mad. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is not going how I would like it to. And to blend out the edges, I'm getting raw sienna and burnt orange to just reduce the craziness that's happening on my eyes right now. Okay, I'm gonna put on top the antique bronze over top of this. Just to set it, Shame on you. because this color is going all over the place. Fool me, can't get fooled, okay, right? now it's working. It looks better now. Okay, I'm not as mad. More cypress umber into the outer corner and blending it in. I'm also going to take some red ochre and try to blend the edges out. I really don't know what I'm doing with this look. I'm kind of just playing around, honestly, right now and just hoping for the best. Mm. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look that good either, but it doesn't look bad. I think I'm done with the eyeshadow. I just don't feel like playing with it anymore. It's just a mess, honestly. It's just a mess. So here are what the eyelashes look like in the packaging. I've used some of them before because I thought that I can make my own eyelash extensions and yeah, so I did that. And they looked I They weren't the best, so. Now, I'm going to put these on my eyes, and hopefully, I don't poke my eye out. Do not have the patience for these eyelashes right now. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I tried. Uh, but no, no, thank you. Alright, I'll show you guys what up close, what my makeup looks like. Hopefully this is up close enough. I can't. I don't have a viewfinder or anything, so hopefully this is close enough. Yeah, the eyelash situation just is not working for me. I'm, I'm done. I got a whole lot of glue on my fingers. No, no, thank you. I feel like the base turned out really well, but the eyes, on the other hand, I don't know what I was doing. I felt like I don't know why, but with that um, crayon eyeshadow. I felt like I was a beginner at makeup and I'm not a beginner anymore. Like I actually know what I'm doing. Sorry if this <laughs> if this is your first time watching me. Hi, hello. I can do better makeup. 
I can do better eyeshadow, I promise. Just watch one of my other videos. I have a lot of tutorial Tuesdays that I do a lot better intricate looks and show how that I can do makeup. This, on the other hand, does not look like I can do makeup. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I just can't. The, that crayon eyeshadow was just too much. I do not like that. It just ruined my entire look. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give this a like and subscribe for my channel down below. And if you guys do not know, I post every Tuesdays and Thursdays. And um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!